Do you have your ticket so I can scan? Uh, yes, um, I have them right here. Okay. Oh, really good, good seats. G7. Hi, I'm Renata. I'm a teaching artist at the new Victory Theater. I use she, her pronouns. You're joining me today in Knowlton, New Jersey, a beautiful land once cultivated by the Lene Lenape people. This week for Arts Break, we are going to focus on immersive theater. I'm going to teach you how to transform your space into a different place, maybe one that you can't go to right now. Using theater techniques, a little bit of crafting, and our imaginations, we will create the world together. Once that world is created, it's then your job to figure out how to play in it. Are you ready? Think about a space that you love and maybe miss. What do you love about that space? What do you remember about it? What does it smell like? What does it look like? What do you feel when you're there? Does it have a taste associated with it? What is one object that's in that space that if you were to see that object somewhere else, you would immediately think of that place? Close your eyes and imagine that you're in that space. What do you see? Is there a door? Are there windows? Where's the furniture in that space? Now I want you to open your eyes and look around the space that you're currently in or choose another space that you would like to play in. You're gonna decide the orientation of the space. Where is the entrance? Where can the furniture that is already there turn into? Maybe your chair is the cash register and the couch is the stage. Now with your adult's permission, move the things in your space to mirror your imagined space. Go and do that and I'll wait here. So the place that I want to recreate today is the New Victory Theater. The New Victory Theater is a theater for kids and families in Times Square in New York City. I've worked at the New Victory Theater for over 10 years and I love it so much and I miss it. The New Victory Theater closed its doors in March and no audiences have been back since. Today, I would like to recreate the New Vic in my home. First, I'm going to think about my experience of going to the theater and who I interact with when I'm there. So if I close my eyes and I think about I go out of the subway, up the stairs, I turn the corner and I go through the double doors and into the space. I take a left and I pick up my tickets and then I turn and I'm greeted by a wonderful usher who scans my ticket and tells me where I should go. I then walk through the doors, I get my Nuvik Playbill, I'm in the theater space and it's just beautiful and I look up and I see angels, literal angel statues on the ceiling. And then I sit down in my seat and I open my Nuvik bill and then I notice that there's embroidered bees all over the seats. And then I wait for the lights to go down and for the show to begin. Now it's time to get even more specific and decorate your space. You are going to play the role of the set designer and the props designer. What are three things in your imagined space that help define that space? You're going to draw them on a piece of paper and cut them out and then tape them to where they go in your space. And I want you to have fun with this. There's no wrong answer to this. And you can be as detailed as possible. If crafting is really your thing, take your time with it. Really think about the colors of what the um, painting on the wall looks like, or if you are, uh, you want to go to a movie theater, what those tickets look like. I have created very quickly um, the angels that are on the top of the new victory ceiling. So I would you know, get up on a chair and post this to my ceiling. Um, I've created the bees 
that would go, I might cut these out and tape them all over my chair or my couch. And then I've also created tickets. So I may find one of my family members and ask them to play the role of the usher. And so um, when I hand them my tickets, they scan them. So once you add your details, add your props, decorate your set, now it's your turn to play in it and feel what it's like to be back in that space. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was fun and I'll see you later. Bye.